Good morning, good afternoon. Welcome wherever you are in whatever part of the world. I'm Pat, and today I've got a new addition to the channel. It is a Bluetooth capable chronograph. Now with this, I can link my cell phone up to it, and I can go through and show all of my velocities, standard deviations, power factors, all sorts of other cool stuff. So now, instead of previously, like when I had been reloading, I would just say, okay, this sounds good, and then I'll back it off just a little bit. Didn't actually know how close to the sound barrier we were going, except for by ear. Well, now, we can be scientific, or scientistic. I don't care how you want to say it. We're going to be scientistical today. But as for science, ooh, yeah, I'm a little Rossi. She's kind of ugly with that forward-mounted scope, but... We're doing it for science. I've got a loophole, 2X, it's an extended eye relief. So even out here, I still kind of have to back up just a little bit off of it. That's on a no, N-O-E, bullet molds rail, and it fits right in where the rear sight used to go. Uh, this thing, I was really impressed with it. I was sitting there with these, this little scope and ringing a six inch piece of steel routinely at 100 yards. And that is really neat, the subsonic bullets at 100 yards. You know, you hear like a thump, ding and then it you know the sound comes back it's pretty cool stuff but yeah i'm finding some accuracy with this uh six inches is kill zone on just about anything and we're doing it quietly so now let's go ahead and start sending some of these recipes that i've had let's send some of these through the chronograph and see how how closely i'd been playing it by ear so now this is really cool right here in the phone i'm connected bluetooth to the chronograph and I can go in here and I can make, you can see I've got bunny fart and 265 subsonic and blah, blah, blah. I've got all sorts of little things that I can add in here. So I called this one the bunny fart. So now I did have some questions when I introduced that bunny fart load in my Henry Model X, the 44 mag video. I said, this is just nothing but a lubed bullet. Now, if you'll see that red ring right there around it, that is your bullet lube. That is what lubes this up to go through the barrel. So like I said, uh, you know, it may be remedial for some of you, but others had a question about it. And that's exactly what this is. It's over 7.3 grains of Trail Boss. I've got three of them loaded up. Let's go ahead. Everything's ready, the chrono's on. Let's send three of these across and see what kind of velocity we've got. This is closed in, so it's gonna seem just a touch loud. But let's go ahead and do this. A thousand forty. A thousand forty. That was really close. One thousand twenty. One thousand thirty. So yeah, we were just flirting with the sound barrier. <laughs> we were just flirting with the sound barrier with that two hundred and forty grain. And of course, I'll drop a foot pounds down here when I edit this in. Okay, so now I've got that same 240 grain lubed lead bullet in the Ruger Super Blackhawk. Let's see if I haven't just came up with a comfortable shooting little load. Nine hundred sixteen. Yeah, that ain't bad. Nine hundred eighteen. Now that's a comfortable shooting little load. I like that. This is basically, this is the bunny fart out of a short barrel. All right, so this is one of the previous loads that I'd came up with. That is a 265 grain copper jacketed soft point. This is a Hornady bullet that I had loaded up with 8.5 grains of HP 38. And again, played it by ear. So let's see how good I guessed without a chronograph. Let me make sure that my app is on. So we're gonna go in here, and this one is the 265 subsonic. So boom, looks like we're ready. We're gonna let our little Bluetooth lady read these off to us. A thousand thirty-eight. One thousand thirty-eight. Ain't too bad for playing it by ear. 1,043. 1,042. Hey, I did pretty good weighing those out by hand. That's pretty tight. <laughs> That's cool. 
So now I've got a new load that I've been experimenting with. This is a 300 grain. Let's play with that one. Okay, so now this is my next experimental load. This 300 grainer right here is the reason that I put a scope on the Rossi. Basically, the scope won't help the twist rate, but it'll help me make sure I'm stabilizing the bullet by giving me just a better sight picture and knowing exactly where my point of aim is, where my point of impact, and make sure I'm not keyholing or anything. Because like I said, this thing is slow, it's one in 30. The Henry that I'd been playing with, you're talking a one in 20. It'd do a much better job at stabilizing these, but I'm sure Rossi was looking at doing it on a budget and just fitting a general all over the place grainage. So let's go ahead and see how my little experimental load does. 300 grains for the win. One thousand sixteen. One thousand sixteen. That is pretty dang close for a first try. I like that. <laughs> One thousand eighteen. One thousand eight. Nine hundred seventy-nine. Now I don't know what happened on that last one. It might have just been a little bit of a light powder charge. But hey, we're already getting really close with that 300 grainer. And of course with 300 grains, you get a lot more power. Even though we're going slower, the bullet weight brings that kinetic energy up. All right, so here's our lineup. That is a 250 grain hollow point. Nice blue powder coated bullet. It'll run nice and clean in my suppressor. Then he sent this. That is a 250 grain. It's a Lyman mold number 429421. And then I guess for assortment, he threw in some black and gray speckled ones. It's the same weight, same bullet, but just a different look. Now this is what I, my experimental. That one right there is a 300 grain XTP, 265 grain jacketed lead soft point. And then here's the bunny fork. But yeah, KFW sent two nice bags and this really awesome little flashlight, this Nebo. I've got one of the Nebo Big Larrys, and I've had it for years, and it's awesome. It's got a magnetic base, screwdriver tips, that's going in my range bag. Kent, you really didn't have to, but I really appreciate it. It's awesome. Thank you for your offer, buddy. Like I said, everybody go check him out. The link will be in the description below. All right, so now these are the Smurf Blue semi-wad cutters that KFW sent. I didn't have his 800X powder. All I had was H110, so I used the sheet that he sent, and I went hot. These things should be absolutely zinging. We're gonna send Smurf bullets into warp speed. So let me make sure I've got my phone set up. Yep, I got my phone set up to record everything. I am really liking this. This really wasn't, I think it was maybe $20 more than a normal chronograph, and it graphs everything in the phone. I don't have to go back after the fact, watch footage. I don't have to guess. I don't have to write anything down. Just choose it, put it in the phone, and go. This is awesome. 1788. <laughs> 1788 feet per second. Dude, that is zinging. 1277. That don't sound right. 1,817. Yeah, I don't trust that. That's weird. I don't know how we had such a wide spread on that. And I've loaded up two of those in my 8 and 3 8 Super Blackhawk. One thousand four hundred twenty-one. Yeah, that's pretty hot. <laughs> Okay, now those two were within, what, 12 feet per second of each other? I think I might have figured that out. Of course, this chronograph's new to me, so I'm going to be learning as we go. Got an awesome new place to shoot. You may have seen it in the last couple of videos. Got us a nice little babbling brook. It's pretty nice scenery. It's pretty quiet. I really like it, and it's close to home. But... Anyway, special thank you to KFW for taking the time to send me those projectiles. He cast those, powder coated them, and sent them out on his own dollar. I really do appreciate it, Kent. 
so his channel will be in the link in the description below so you guys go over there tell him pat sent you but special thank you to all my supporters the subscribers everybody that hits that thumbs up leaves me a good comment you really are the ones that keep me going but now i've started a new chapter i'm still going to be putting content here on pat rmg i put too much in, too much effort into the channel to drop it but i am over on ar15.com that's another youtube channel so go check me out over there my first video has already been released the second video is in the queue and we got more working up and i've recently picked up a henry x model 4570 that's not the big boy i guess they just didn't want to call it biggest boy but yes i've got one of those look for content coming on that one soon looking for brass and dies for a 4570 and we'll start loading up some really cool stuff we got a chronograph we can do all kinds of science but anyway you guys are awesome thank you for stopping by have a wonderful day. We'll see you next video.